What's going on guys, Mega Gig back with another video, making a part two or kind of supplemental additive video to the one that I put up earlier, because uh, we do have a Fury of the Vanished Peak now I was talking about, um, I didn't have one earlier, and uh, shout out to Mr. Brightsides, he let me know um, this merchant doesn't just sell um, Necromancer stuff, if you look right here, if you pay close attention like I didn't, uh, it sells updated items for 200 shards, you buy a satchel, and uh, it's basically like, um, you know, you just open it up. It's got all the different things in them uh, for your class. It's got all the change items for your class. Identify them. Now, they aren't max stats. Um, so, yeah, so you do have to, uh, you know, you still have to kind of farm them, but you can at least get your hands on the item itself. Now, the main reason for this video is to show you that I think Fury of the Vanished Peak is going to replace uh, the furnace on here. The 50% damage against elites of course is nice but 500% boost to Seismic Slam and when you talk about um, using the Rumble Rune it's just an enormous enormous buff and uh, it also reduces the Fury cost by 50% now I don't think you know, technically, if it reduced the Fury cost, then it would almost be like doubling your, your Max Fury. And I don't think that works like that. I could be wrong. I actually tried to look it up. I couldn't find anything on it. Uh, so if you guys know for sure or not, uh, let me know. Does this effectively double your Fury? I don't think it does. Um, but it's, you know, looking at it, I guess that's kind of what it seems like. But... Anyways, um, I don't think it does, but the increased 500% damage, so for comparison's sake, we're going to do another 85. And uh, remember earlier we, we did an 85 and we had two and a half minutes left and we finished on floor three. So hopefully we get kind of a similar size rift, a similar good rift. I do really hate this new rift floor. Although they said they were supposed to change the, having so many dead ends. But, um, yeah. But you can see our Seismic Slam just, when we cast Seismic Slam, it just, even elites, it just chunks them. Now we are in our Oculus Ring half the time here. But, still, this one guy getting kind of aggravating. But we did make quick work of that elite pack. And while we've got the while we've got the channeling rune, may as well cast everything to our heart's desire. The styling and the art of these new floors is nice, but it doesn't offer a lot in packs a lot of times. I have found and we screwed up our rotation there um, also one thing that I did not mention earlier when it comes to threatening shout I am still using the demoralize rune uh, previously on this build on the leapquake build you would use the cave-in rune on earthquake and it would create density and uh, we've since switch to the Molten Rune for more damage and um, I've given my thoughts on what I think of the Falter Rune on uh, on Threatening Shout so I still like to use the Demoralize Rune to kind of create density and then our follower likes to create some density for us too. So especially on Trash Packs you can see when you cast Seismic Slam everything just kind of gets chunked to death. And this yellow is already... Uh, 
Ah, cooldowns. I love when things just explode now from your battle rage. Come on, sit still, you. Yeah, that first floor was pretty garbo, as I like to say. Now we'll get our rotation going. And of course it's a freezer, so you know. And a teleporter, so he's not gonna stay in our our earthquake damage. And yeah. Oops. Ah, come on! Get over here. Dang it. That completely messed up everything. Point of the video is to show the increased damage of Seismic Slam, which I think we're doing. This guy is super annoying. Teleporting out of all my damage. <laughs> there we go. And knocking me back and freezing me. All kinds of good stuff. Let's reset our, our leap, shall we? And it's not it's not uh, the end of the world if you don't have the right rotation going on like I was talking about earlier. It's just, um, in the grand scheme of things, it's just the most efficient way to do it. When we actually have a yellow that stands still, we can just chunk him again. Of course, Earthquake, earthquake is still doing uh, outstanding damage. But uh, our Seismic Slam now is just so, so strong. You can see when we cast it, everything just starts to die. And it has that two-second uh, dot of time where it just pretty much kills everything else. That and then Earthquake just kind of supplements that damage even more. I don't really expect everyone to watch the entire video um, because I put the one up earlier, but I did want to make a video to show the damage difference. And a power shrine is going to kind of skew that a little bit. out of there. Oh, alright, another Elite Pack. Now, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we had some decent Shrine placement in, uh, uh oh. We're stuck in the first one, too. We finished it on floor three. And this is floor three, so technically if we don't finish this one, that was a better rift. I mean, if we don't finish it on floor three, we'll definitely finish it. kinda wish we had uh, Nemesis Bracers but we did get two more Elite Packs right here next to each other so that's kinda nice uh, 
Again, uh, now I've said before it would be nice if we could have a test rift to test builds out on where the rift was the same every time so we could get a good idea of the difference in power. Um, but you guys can see um, just by looking at it there that it's doing lots of damage. And we went the wrong way. Ugh, we're stuck. Just go ahead and cast all our stuff there. Smash, smash, Hulk, smash. There we go. At least he's not a freezer. But yeah, he's already almost dead too. Somebody asked me in the comments on the other video how high I think this build can push. There were already people pushing into the the mid to upper 90s with this build, depending on Paragon points, of course. Um, I fully expect this build to make it into the 100s. Of course, this guy. He's going to teleport away from us. Teleport away from all our damage. and do a load of damage itself. Ouch. But we're making some pretty good headway. Not the the super bestest oh um super bestest is that a word uh single target damage it still does a lot but you're not getting the the big time AOE damage that you normally do from the from your battle rage rune. But you can still see we're just chunking this guy. And yeah, we shaved off two minutes. So, and now we did finish it on floor three. So, it is actually a fairly comparable rift. Um, so, yeah, guys, I think. Uh, where is it? <laughs> I think the, uh, the Fury of the Vanished Peak will probably replace Pain Enhancer. Not. <laughs> Pain Enhancer, geez. The Furnace. We'll probably replace the Furnace as uh, the weapon slot. Um, you definitely cannot replace uh, Blade of the Tribes, I don't think, because Warcry and Threatening Shout both cause a, an avalanche and an earthquake. And that's just too, too good to get rid of. It's really what the whole build revolves around. So, but yeah, if you guys play this build... Um, Try this out. Let me know what you think. And if you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, go ahead and dislike it, I guess, although I wish you wouldn't. And uh, comment. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys, for watching. More good stuff to come. Take care.